Firstly, a few apologies are in order. Uh, I don't have a camera capable of taking decent video. I only have a camera capable of taking decent stills. So we're stuck with stills of the VRX1, I'm afraid. And secondly, my VRX1 is a bit of a hot mess um, because, well, I... Um, it was sort of a, a project in progress, and if you look at it, you'll be able to see uh, on the back wall of the VRX1 the peak to low pass active filter uh, designed by W7ZOI that I added. And uh, and also uh, on top of the main board, you can see the RF, the Common Gate RF preamp. Uh, both of those circuits, by the way, I got from the VE7BPO, uh, from VE7BPO's website. Um, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's switch the VRX1 on and... Uh, <clears throat> Let's see what we get. Hmm. Rig? He's saying, oh, he's saying, what rig do you have? Okay. No, oh, he's got an FT817. He said, transceiver at only five watts, your antenna. Huh. Okay, let's retune a little bit here. Now, the filter's fairly wide, but it's it's not barn door wide, like the, the, the VRX1 is without a filter. And actually, if you'd heard the receiver without an RF preamp, there was a lot of common mode hum, but you can't hear any now. It's sounding really good. Let's see what we've got. going on here. Lots of breaks, lots of people passing things back to each other. <laughs> By the way, this receiver covers approximately 7026 to 7032 kilohertz. Oh, that's loud. QSY. QSY up. QSY up, okay. That's... Mm -hmm. He's QSYing. Let's follow him. I want to know who this is. It's a, quite a loud signal. Oh, <laughs> that's W6JL Don. He, he's always on, and he's often pretty loud. Well, that's it. That's the VRX1. Sounds pretty good. Hope you like it. I, I quite like it now, actually. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I'm quite pleased with it altogether. So that's it. That's my first ever um, attempt at a YouTube video. And at some point in the future, I hope to get a camera that takes decent video so you can see a dynamic video with uh, me turning the knob. That's actually about as exciting as um, videos get, isn't it? That's the big advantage of videos over stills. You can actually watch hams turning the knobs on their transceivers as, as you listen to the output from the rig. Anyway, that's it for now. Take care.